Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card. Angelsouls444.com for personal readings if you are interested in that. And of course, if you like this content, liking, sharing, subscribing, helps me out a ton. So let's see. Okay, so you tapped in on a good day. <laughs> this is 10 of Raphael. And it says, love and blessings fill your life, harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. Now, again, for everybody who's watching, there's going to be a different message. I will give a few messages here, but if you want to know how this, you know, pertains to you specifically, go ahead and go to angelsouls444.com, sign up for a personal reading. I'm um, doing half hour slots, so get on over there and check it out. So this feels like, yes, blessings fill your life, but this is because there's healing first. Archangel Raphael is all about healing. So this isn't, this is, they're saying this is where we as humans go wrong. We get in our head that things have to look a certain way <laughs> and I'm not going to be happy until that person comes and apologizes to me, right? Or whatever. And really what you need to do is open your heart and let your heart heal. And then you start realizing for, for one, a lot of what you want is already there right in your face, <laughs> right? Um, and when you're willing to see all the good that's around you, more and more is going to come in. Okay. Now this does have a feeling that some of you may end up realizing that you have feelings for a friend or you fall in love with your husband or wife all over again, because maybe the two of you healed something within yourselves, maybe um, because of some past experience, you closed your heart or admitting some sort of truth. Because this feels like people who finally come to some understanding and there's a release and now, now we can be friends. I'm sorry guys, this doesn't pertain to everybody, but it feels like some, again, a, a few of you out there, if you have an ex-spouse. I know this is a weird message around this card, but there's a feeling coming up that if you have an ex-spouse, there's something that you end up working out or settling so that you can either fully go your own way or that you're still friendly. Like if you're, if it's a situation for some of you, you have to co-parent, you find a way to sort of compromise, making peace by not letting pride get in the way. All right, so be careful. Again, everybody, it's different. The only way to know how that pertains to you is to get a personal reading, so take it for what it's worth. But we're gonna leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.